Rhapsody of Realities Daily Devotional Friday the 20th of October by Pastor Chris The topic, Act Your Faith and Experience the Miraculous Our first verse So also faith, if it does not have works, deeds and actions of obedience to back it up, by itself is destitute of power, inoperative, dead. James 2.17 Let's consider the example of the man in Acts 3, 1-16, who was lame from birth and begged for alms at the gate of the temple called Beautiful. The Lord Jesus himself had been in that very temple multiple times, yet the man's condition didn't change. But on a certain day, as Peter and John walked by, he begged them for money. Then the Bible says that Peter looked at him intently and said, Look on us. Expecting to receive something, the man gave them his attention. Peter then declared, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Peter then took the man by the right hand and lifted him up. Immediately the lame man's feet and ankle bones received strength. Imagine if the man had resisted as Peter was trying to yank him up. He probably wouldn't have received his miracle. The miraculous change in the man's life occurred because the call to action was answered. He received the word with corresponding action. When you receive the word about your prosperity and finances, for example, it's important to back it up with the right actions. Without taking action, your situation may remain the same. For example, 2 Corinthians 8 7 says, but just as you excel in everything, in faith, in speech, in knowledge, in complete earnestness and in your love for us, see that you also excel in this grace of giving. What do you do when you meditate on this truth? First understand that the word has the power to change your situation. The word brings you transformation through the power and spirit of God. Therefore, when the word comes to you, like what we read in 2 Corinthians 8, 7 above, Recognize the call to action that accompanies it and respond. Whenever you get a prompting from the word or in your spirit, as a result of the word, don't hesitate or wait. Seize the moment and respond immediately. By acting in faith, you position yourself to experience the miraculous blessings of the word. Let's say this prayer confession together. Dear Father, I thank you for the glory of your word and the transformation I experience even now as your word takes root in my spirit producing in me the fruits of righteousness. I respond and take action on your word. Therefore, your glory is seen in my life and I experience the fullness of your blessings and abundant provisions. In Jesus' name, Amen.